Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episodes 11 and 12 of The Sopranos. What do you think of the last two episodes? I feel like the season just keeps getting stronger <laughs> the farther along we get. Yeah. And from what we've seen in comments uh, on Patreon, YouTube, everything, I think these last three episodes are gonna be even better. Yeah, everyone's super excited, which makes me very happy because the last two episodes were some of my favorite. It was peak Tony being such an asshole. Yeah. I saw a lot of comments saying that this was like the real major shift, at least for the viewing audience to like turn away from Tony. But as always, there's just so many moving parts. I mean, storylines just pop out of nowhere that suddenly become the most important thing, like Meadow's boyfriend now. <laughs> so I'm super excited to see how this season ends because this has been great. Yeah, no, I'm really excited. Season five has been top notch. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episodes. Hey, starting off with a bang. I'm actually surprised he's still with her. Yeah, right? How about some egg beaters in Tabasco? Didn't I tell you I hate this shout between room shit? You even gonna look at the brochure? What is it, sneakers or something? Sandals. Oh, sandals? Like the resort? Oh. Uh. Is it so much to fucking ask for a little bit of a ten- <gasps> Oh! Shit. <laughs> There's no way. Is this real? I got it. You're okay. Uh. Is she? She was fully on fire. Yeah. That's not real, right? Oh my god. Is she gonna be covered in, like, burns? Walk with me. I like, I can't focus on this right now. Did that just happen? <laughs> I know, was someone just really on fire? For the Joey Peeps thing. Not all of it. Ah, he's okay. Yeah, in front of someone else? And even though I don't miss a fucking day, but the parts with this fire plug were the best. I feel like that Peeps thing is messy. Yeah, why did he say clean job? That was a horrible job. Yeah. I'm putting this in a position of prominence. Nice. Oh shit, it was real. How bad, though? It's gotta be horrible. Are you gonna operate? No, oh, it's, it's me. My hair. Well, the good news is it'll grow back. You're gonna look the same as you always did. <laughs> That's key. Are you gonna operate on me? Super drugged up. Let's go, move on. You're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I don't like this. Great. Yeah, this seems like a setup. Yeah, I think he's about to get killed. Listen, I don't know what the fuck you were looking at. Uh oh. It's Johnny wants to see you. I'm gonna see him tomorrow. Apparently it's gotta be now, you know, he's in one of his moods. Yeah. Why'd you turn your back to him? <laughs> Can you fucking retire? Billy, but don't say you know me! Oh, fuck. Look at this shit. You know the work I just had? I can't believe we didn't recognize the car. <laughs> Gonna go back to the shop. Damn. Yeah. I'm sure he's not the last in this war between uh, little Carmine and Johnny. God fucking damn it. This is today's paper, Pisha. Why'd you throw it away? Oh, no. I beg you some enchiladas you like. Thank you. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? She forgets her English, whatever it suits her purposes. If she shows up whatever she feels like with the fucking enchiladas. So fire her ass, get a new one. How many has he gone through? Yeah. You all right? Man, he's earning better than ever and seems worse than ever. I was, I was gonna end it right there, that night. And now how the fuck is it gonna look? That is a tough one. I don't think he gives a shit. It always happened to me. <laughs> you weren't the one who got set on fire. You know what I've been thinking about lately? Charmaine Buko. This is the kind of woman I need. What? She hates your guts. I'll see you later. All right. I think maybe he needs to like go talk to Dr. Melfi. Yeah, because this was not a helpful conversation. He said that before too with uh, Adriana to be like, this is the type of girl that I can start again with, you know? Oh, was this planned? 
We have you in a deluxe suite with a park view. Mr. Who? Not Soprano. Enjoy your stay, Mr. Petraglio. Petraglio? This has to cost so much money. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Whoever you are, I'd like you to stop this. Oh my god, Tony. How long have you been doing this? And why all of a sudden Artie's wife? Out of nowhere. What is happening this episode? New York's most exotic and erotic girls are waiting to please you. Is this like a sex line? It's like for a, escorts, On the I phone? Think. Oh, really? It's for escorts? I think that's what they said, yeah. The hell? You can advertise that on TV? In a hotel room? Well, he's probably on a select yeah. channel. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that paper. I've been trying to reach you. Angelo got it. Last night. Probably Phil. That was uh, Silvio on the phone, I think. Was it? I think so. Can I answer that? Not available right now. Don't leave messages on this phone. He probably assumes he's next, maybe. Oh, maybe. Uh, he might be later, though. You want to try his portable phone? I did. You see him, you have him call me. Yeah, he sounds worried. Yeah, we're taking out anyone who was involved in that hit. And it was not a clean hit. <laughs> Tony, looking for Tony. Motto, and I was hoping it was with you. Oh, God. Not since he took the kids back this morning. Ooh, that's a long time. I mean, we saw that he's still alive. Yeah. But where the hell is he? He might just need a minute. He seemed stressed. The old timer was a stand-up guy. Yeah, well, that's the least of it. Maybe it's Tony. Did he know he's here? Hey, you call for a date? <laughs> I saw him this morning and he must have known something because he was acting all squirrely. He's got a right to be upset. I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. He ain't that stupid. Uh, you'd be surprised. We'll let you know we see it. You want me to suck your dick now, baby? Who are you talking to? Honey's asleep. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? I'm all alone on the other side. It ain't right. Answer the fucking thing. <laughs> this is a messed up dream. If it's him, tell him you ain't seen me. Tell Ooh. who? The man upstairs. God? Our friend. Gotta go. No problem. Don't fuck it up. It's important. Who was that on the phone? Who are they talking about? Is this him realizing he needs to give up Tony B? They were staring straight at me. What the? They wanted me to kill a guy. It was just a dream, all right? God, I was just about to say, is he still in a dream? Doesn't sound like heaven to me. Well, you would know more about it than I do. Is she in heaven? When you hit me, it was like pow to the moon. Don't get me steamed, Alice. <laughs> oh, that was your mother. <laughs> is that Dr. Melfi's voice? Yeah, the voice changed, right? Sometimes what happens here is like taking a shit. More like childbirth. <sighs> now, trust me, it's a shit. I don't have any children. I died too young. My cousin doesn't mean Gleason. Are you ready for what you have to do? No sweat. Oh, we're back in this car? You were right up front. No, oh, Dad, I'm fine. That's pussy. You know, douchebag, I realize I'm dreaming. I got no opinion. Okay. What? Where are we going? Why is Artie there? Driving you to the job. Home? Oh, he is tripping balls in this hotel room. If he ever was in this hotel room? Wait, so he's supposed to be killing someone here? Tony. Come on, give me a minute. It's just that it's so much more interesting. Than what? Than life. It is your life. What day is it? Spirits must have done everything in one night. This is a fever dream. All right, let's go. I'll wait in the car. You're taking separate cars. Well, oh. Now what's the matter? Teeth coming out? I hate dreaming that my teeth are coming out. Isn't that supposed to mean something? I think it means someone's gonna die. Are you coming? Hey. Hi. How are you both? This feels real. No. no. <laughs> Is this the uh, strong, silent type that he always talked about? Oh, I'm like not that sure. old movie star or whatever, I think, right? Yeah. 
I'd like you to meet Finn's parents, Mr. Detrolio, Mrs. Detrolio. Wait, is he familiar because he's in the show? Getting to know your daughter while we were waiting. <laughs> or no. Is this the lawyer guy? Yeah, or right? The assemblyman? Also, she's super familiar too. <laughs> Where the fuck do I know these two people from? With a husband in dental school, he'll be able to fix your mouth, honey. More? Oh, hard. People always told us that Finn would never amount to much. He what? won't. That's AJ. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for his tooth fairy money, he'd have nothing. Okay, Tony, I, that... <laughs> I mean, I guess it is his dream. You and Annette Benning. And I, I love... don't show him. Is that her real name, Annette Benning? This is long. <laughs> this whole dream sequence is long. I can usually use a nice tinkle. I'll go with you. I don't want my husband coming out of there with just his cock in his hand. What the fuck? What are they supposed to come out with? It's like, um, Godfather, right? Looking for the gun in the bathroom? Mmm. The piece wasn't behind the toilet. What is this real life? No, it's not. Jesus. No! No! I mean, that probably would be a good thing if it was real. I knew this was gonna happen. Why didn't you stop him? He doesn't have his piece. Please. <sighs> Tell them what happened 20 years ago. I can't go into that right now. <laughs> what? What do I gotta count to before I can get up? You're really dead. But I got kids. Who wrote this? I don't have a piece. Annette Benning. There's something bugsy about him. Oh. German shepherds? They were dressed up. That's what I meant, like like actual German shepherds. <laughs> not, not the dogs. <laughs> like from Jojo Rabbit. Artie, of all people, saves you? I'm wiped out. Uh. He's in the front seat now. Does that mean anything? I think I want to come home. You can't have your horse in here. <laughs> Why not? The smell, shit. shit. So, yeah, shit. To think about it. You didn't take care of that? Check this out. Oh, he's got a piece. Be careful. All of this is just building up to him realizing he needs to kill Tony B to stop this war from continuing. But how is it going to look if he kills Tony B? He already told Johnny Sack that Tony B was with him that night and had nothing to do with it. Well, but I don't think Johnny Sack actually believes him. No, but still, it's just gonna validate the fact that he lied to Johnny Sack. He'd never cut it as a varsity athlete. Cleave yourself away from them bums you hang with, I say. Well, I'm in therapy now. I suppose you blame it on your father when you're crying to that shrink of yours. No, I'm on my mother. Yeah. I am a leader. I got a house with a million two. Two kids. Wife. Do you? Ooh. She's got the big house, because I'm successful. Oh, no. You'll never <clears throat> cut me up. I don't even trust that this is real. Pretty sure it is at this point. That was the craziest dream yet. What time is it? Five? It's a Mr. Montavani to see you. He says it's urgent. Send them up. Maybe another fake name? Could it be Tony B? So someone that knows he's here. Oh, oh Christopher. Duh. Sorry to get you up, but I knew you'd want to know right away. Tony B took out Billy Leotardo. Oh, fuck. Did it happen? Wait a minute. You mean Philly? Billy. Phil got winged. He's in the hospital. Little brother as a kid's dying in his arms. His blood all over. Oh, shit. He didn't even take out the main one? He knew what he was gonna do, and he sat there right in his mother's house and pretended. Guess TB's fucked, poor guy. We're all fucked. You, uh, gonna eat that? Chocolate. It's his new addiction. All right. See you later. Damn. Super messy. I mean, there's no way he was gonna do a clean job based off of his skill level. But, like, even with Peeps, he took out the only other witness. Yeah, like, this time he just killed... The wrong person? His son, I think, 
Phil Leotardo's son and then injured Phil. Yeah. I was right. It was five. You were. <laughs> Sorry to call you so early, but I got to cancel the fishing trip. You all right? Yeah. yeah. I had one of my Coach Bolonero dreams. Were you unprepared as usual? <laughs> sort of a coach now. Yeah, that's the way you're looking at it, I guess. Coach of gangsters. You were in a dream too. Oh, yeah? I was on this horse. In the house. Is that us the house next door, Barker? Can you hear him? Absolutely. Is it light where you are yet? Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, the crazy horse, that's you, right? Yeah, you got something? Throw away oh. the garbage. And picks up garbage? Oh no. No, and then I think she takes garbage from her car? But then she changes her mind. Oh. So they're not in the crazy horse, but they're outside. You've got a fairly severe case of ulcerative colitis. She can't even sleep, Ma. Well, look at her. It looks real rough. Cushing syndrome, that's a swelling of the facial features, a sort of a moon face. Moon face? She's God. planning a wedding, for Christ's sake. Her stomach issues. Oh, you're right. I think it's right. brought on by stress. I'm asking him if we were getting back together. You know what, I dreamed that I moved back in here. Didn't you guys talk on the phone? I realized what I did was wrong. Knowing you were wrong isn't the half of it, Tony. Like Popeye says, I am what I am. Well, I didn't marry a cartoon. <laughs> you had your own indiscretions yourself. What? The thing with Furio? I did not sleep with him, Tony. You know, we're all human. You cannot possibly compare those two situations. Theoretically, though, if we do reconcile, that stuff will never happen again. Oh, sure. Fuck! What the Freaking fuck? Freaking mess. That was your tactic to kill someone? Shoot at the other person from far away, walking towards them? We back down now. What kind of a message does that send? This Blendetta way, so I went off the reservation. How many guys does little car might even have? Put your ear to the street. Let the guys see you take the reins. That's not how I want to handle it. How do you want to handle it? I always liked your cousin. But Wack and Phil's brother was a major poke in the ass. Did he just disappear? Probably. Anything on Tony B? Nah, he's still on a milk carton. That's a good way to say they're missing. <laughs> Smelly Valentine. Christopher, that's not funny. Is there IBS? I think so. They gotta replace her colon with a semicolon. She's got the world at her feet. She walks around like impending doom. Only you knew. So don't listen to him. People got their health. They take it for granted. So Carmen and me, uh, getting back together, maybe. Really? When we get settled, we'll have you guys over. That was very premature. Yeah, right? Acting like it's a done deal. John? Ooh. Let me just say how sorry I am for your loss. Anybody ever die in your arms? A family member? Somebody you love? No. Well, give it time. See if I can't make that happen for you. Whoa. Fuck Fucking him, John. Fuck all of them. Kill him right here. What kind of talk is that? And they're probably going to give him a pass after what happened, but... I want your cousin. I don't know where he is. Maybe one of your other relatives, then. What, I gotta what? stand here being threatened now? All right, all right, nobody's making threats. No, they're making a lot of threats. I will rain a shitstorm down on you and your family like you have never fucking seen. Excuse me? I... No. I kind of expected him to be a little... Like, I knew he was gonna be mad, but I didn't think he was gonna be that mad. To literally tell Tony to his face, I will kill your family. Oh, fuck! Yo, check it! Oh, shit! Is that, is that Tony B? No. I can't, I can't even tell who that is. Wasn't Trunk Guy? The old guy that they yeah. shot? No. Because he had white hair or he was bald or something like that. Yeah, that guy looked younger. You want another kid? No. <laughs> it turns out there is a lot for sale over on Crestview. I could build a spec house and take my dad in as a partner. How much is the lot? 600000 Flip it. Yeah. Well, I'll free up a down payment. And then? I'll move back in. Supposing that happened. Wow. What about the other issues that were on the table? Midlife crisis problems will no longer intrude on you anymore. What a weird way to put that. <laughs> It'll just be better at cheating so that it doesn't intrude. Is this it? Is this really the resolution to their marriage? I mean, are we surprised that Carmela kind of just sold out for a $600,000 house? Not surprised at all. 
Can I talk to you? Uh oh. Was that dead person Christopher's fault? I'm selling cigarettes without the tax stamps on it. The feds are all over it now. I don't got enough of my fucking mind. Okay. Dude, how much is he drinking? Oh shit, you're right. I didn't even notice that. From now on, Paulie supervises the entire cigarette run. What? Ooh. I got a fucking wedding to pay for. Well, if I were you, I'd cut out the open bar. I mean, you don't need it, Christopher. Fuck family, fuck loyalty. It cost him a dime. You're a fucking pariah. He said I should have a fucking drink. When? Oh, that is true. Teasing me like when I was little. Undermining shit is that to tell someone who's got the disease. Yeah. Forgot about that. He could get us all killed with New York and him. Tony has to think about what to do with him now. Me, he don't need to fucking think. Well, maybe I need to think. Ooh, he's not wrong. No. You think Christopher would go to New York and say, I'll kill Tony for you? No. I don't think Christopher has, like, the balls to do that. <laughs> Long Branch cops. Find out what's up. I think it's a body? But why, the detectives are at the crazy horse? Yeah. Ooh. Don't look at me. I look good. And you're gonna look nice with the short hair. Are you gonna dump her? You motherfucker. Hey, take it easy. This is how you leave me? <laughs> But there's no future with us. I told you that right from the get-go. And just like a gentleman. Oh, could this be Tony B? Yeah. Yep. Is that you? I know you're there. Just say something. Yeah, it's me. Your friend at the phone company. I put traps on all my lines. That's smart. We need to talk. I was buying medicine. My car! Oh. No, that's them. Oh. <laughs> I was like, someone's gonna catch her with the FBI. Oh, wow. He's like... He's moving in. She even home? Oh, you made it. Hey, I was just starting dinner. Yeah, smells good. I don't love that, like, all this heat going on with New York, and then he's coming and bringing it back to his family. I guess if he can also keep his eyes on him. We should celebrate. Oh! <laughs> I want to make a toast to the people I love. Nothing else matters. Continuity in these glasses and how full they are is just really terrible. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, nothing ever changed. Find out why. Is it like poop? I was thinking it maybe had something to do with her stomach. Friend of yours? I don't know him. But you told the Long Branch police that he was at the club that night. He was stabbed in the club. You tried to dispose of the evidence. You start telling us what you know. Oh, shit. There's this guy, his name's Matouche. He's a drug dealer. Uh, we tried to get an apartment. I gotta fax the guy a copy of my passport. Really? It's in the office, but hurry. Christopher sees you in there, he'll shit. That can't be helping your stomach. The guy said Matouche ripped him off like it was all laxative. So this isn't even connected to Tony at all? Hey, yo, you can't be back here, man. Oh, I, I don't know what- Get up! Kill you, motherfucker! Oh. There you go, knife out. What the hell? Nothing to do with Tony or anyone, and he was legitimately just trying to send a fax? I'll take him out through the basement. Dump him in the ocean. Clearly didn't do a great job getting no. rid of the body. The last thing she needs. The guy was gonna stab him. He's not a bad person. He's very religious. He prays like all the time. <laughs> They seem bummed. You were looking down the barrel at 25 years. But I didn't do nothing. Send you right over to the woman's house of detention. Jeez. You can cooperate. But I've been fucking cooperating. Right? I want you wired up. I want Tony Soprano on tape. I'm not doing it. Then you're all out of options. I would go to jail at this point. Fuck yeah, i go to jail. I don't want to talk to my lawyer. Maybe Christopher knows a good lawyer. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. What'd you expect? Oh, you don't want a public defender? It's time to call Tony. Tony would have a soft spot for Adriana, possibly. Well, she just made it about the drugs. Feel. Guy. Tony. What? Stop. It's like the new exciting right. back in the honeymoon phase. Well, that house sure did a trick. In 40 minutes. How long are you going to stay in there? How long are you going to let me go without a lawyer? Eight fucking hours. I've been here already. Yeah, that's super suspicious. You're young. You love each other. You both have your health. I mean, living like this is what's costing you your insides. But you guys want her to turn on Christopher, too. There's no way she'll wear a wire, but you think she might be able to get Multisandi to flip. Why not? 
problems with Tony. Oh. What would Multisanti want? He's got some interest in screenwriting. I'll put in a call to Sam Goldwyn. <laughs> Depending on what he's offering, maybe immunity and relocation for the two of them. Really? Tell her she's got till 9 a.m. Monday to bring him in, or we turn her over to Long Branch PD. This conversation is not gonna go well. No. <laughs> A tennis match with those guys. My guy won. It's settled, that's all. Hi. Do not know what that was. I mean, it was obviously cool. Oh, Carmine's out. Johnny worked out a deal. I knew he'd cave. He's a fucking pussy, that kid. What? Time was, it would have been great for us to have John as the boss. Smart as a fucking whip. He used to be a pragmatist. He looked defeated. You thought John had an ego before? Forget it now. But now those two make up, and now Tony's just on the outs? So where the fuck you been? We need to talk. I asked you a question, Adrian. Yeah, she's gonna answer you. About a year ago? Well, maybe. I, I, don't, I don't know. Oof. I was arrested. Remember my friend Danielle? She set you up? She was an FBI agent, Christopher. Oh, shit. Like, she's all in now. Yeah. I was just trying to protect you. They said all they wanted was some information. I didn't tell them nothing. Yeah, she hasn't given them anything. Yeah. They wanted me to wear a wire, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> oh. He's losing it. I had no choice. They've been filming us in the parking lot. Oh, no. Saw that coming. How could you fucking do this to us? I fucking loved you. Oh, he almost went all the way. Yeah, I thought he killed her. You're sorry. You beat the fuck out of her constantly. Oh my god. Okay, right back to the FBI. By yourself. <laughs> oh my god, what are we gonna do? She's still consoling him? What the fuck? I mean, this is like the 15th time that he's beaten her. Hello. T, it's me. Oh. Look, I know you're mad, okay? Mad? They could all be killed. When I heard about Angelo, I just... Don't uh... fucking say it. Not on the phone. I know. I won't. <laughs> You almost did. What should I do, Tom? Well, I'll tell you what not to do. Let's come back around here. So he's not going to give him up. My kids, my boys. Don't worry about that. I'll look after them. Anything else I could do for you? I'm leaving you with a real pile of shit in your lap. I feel like that's the understatement of the year. <laughs> the night you went away, I got in a fight with my mother and I passed out. Felt guilty about it all these years, like it was my fault you went away. Anyway, now we're even. You just take care of yourself, all right? You too. How are they going to clean that up? I was like, sure, he was going to give him up. I don't know how you clean it up, especially now that Carmine and Johnny Sack already struck a deal. Come on. Oh. It's me. No. He just called. Oh. It really is his only option. I mean, that's what I assume. It's a Roy's. It's a business. Kinderhook. Yeah, I know where it is. Oh, is it by their uncle's place or whoever that was? Oh, like the orchard place yeah. or something? Yeah. It was upstate New York, right? I think so. Yep. There you go. So he's staying here? Maybe in like a barn or something? Show house life at the old folks home. I don't like the people here. Oh no, he's gone. And the house is sitting there empty, damn it. Damn, empty house, you say? I could do my memoirs, finally. We'd have a fireplace like you like to. You are not getting a fairy tale ending. I'm just gonna get cigarettes, I'll be right back. Next you're gonna want a vodka. What? You've been pounding drinks for weeks. I love you. I like don't trust him. Christopher? Yeah, I feel like he's gonna turn on her. He might. He didn't have anything to do with this FBI. He wants to do it. Great, when are you coming in? A couple of more hours, we're just getting some things together. There's so many things to process in this. Dude looks miserable though. Yeah, the guy's miserable, but he was also like kids, which he might not be able to have that with Adriana. He was checking out his Hummer. I think you might be onto something. He might just give up on Adriana. Did he say anything to you? I mean, did he appear suicidal? No. Are you sure? I'm gonna send Syl by to pick you up then, okay? Jesus Christ. I don't like this. He's probably fighting that heroin urge again. Anyway, Syl's on his way. Okay. No, I feel like they're lying. Yeah, is, are they, were they testing her right there? Yeah, and then I feel like Silvio's gonna pick her up. And that's it. Oh, shit. I didn't get the feeling that Christopher was going to off himself right there. No. But even if maybe Christopher's in the hospital, maybe he said something. But I also just feel like Tony's not upset enough. That Christopher almost. 
Where's she going? Wasn't wasn't she supposed yeah, to stay? Yeah, Silvio was going to pick her up. She just bailed. Oh, oh. no, she she's dreaming about the fact that she could have bailed. They'll keep him a few days, maybe. Observation, do some tests. No. No one has the correct emotions. Does she know? I feel like she has a feeling. That's why she had that... That dream? Yeah. Why are you crying? He's gonna be fine. She's not. This doesn't look like a hospital. Shit. The end of Adriana. And here's Christopher, totally fine. And that's the bag she would have packed? Wow. I mean, you called it. He flipped on her. Is that her car? I think so. Must be left in long, long term parking. That's the name of the episode. Is it really? Fuck, that's crazy. The king of the York. Is he just gonna tell him where he is? Maybe. I want you to know this is the last time we'll meet like this. It's undignified. Too good for him now? Let me handle this myself. I can't do that, Tony. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. I choose not to then. Wow, look at that ego. Now that you're on top. I want your promise it'll be quick. Bill's gonna do it. And he'll do it his way. Literally nothing from this guy. Anything else? Damn, like he gave up his cousin. Not that I have any pity for Tony, but. Go fuck yourself. You and Phil and whoever. Oh. No way, Tony. The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, he's like high as a kite. Yeah, I mean, if we thought Christopher was a fuck up before. You think you're alone in this? She could be in China by now. She's in a ditch. I think that was her trying to deflect her guilt. Man, the FBI has gotten nowhere. All they do is get their informants killed. Oh, is this a lot? Well, what did I say? Is it beautiful? Yeah, it's a gorgeous piece of land. About to pass out? You all right? Yeah, yeah, me, yeah. Other than essentially declaring war on New York. And having the one person you actually have a soft spot for killed. Jeez. All right, that was episode 11 and 12 of The Sopranos. What'd you think? I don't know. I feel like episode 12, as much as I like hated it, it's because it was so good. Like it was fantastic writing. Like it was just a great episode. Yeah. But I obviously hated the plot. <laughs> I mean, it was just like an inevitable disaster. It's The Sopranos. I don't think anyone's getting a happy ending. No. And it was only a matter of time before Adriana got caught or got to a situation where she just couldn't do it anymore, went to jail, talked to Tony, whatever it was, it was always gonna end badly. Yeah. For how it played out though, for Christopher just leaving and obviously, you know, telling everyone that she is talking to the FBI, even just like the unceremonious way that she was like killed. I don't know, like pussy, they still took him out on a boat, <laughs> like had a shots with him. Like they chatted a little bit. But it, like just Silvio? Just Silvio and even, the middle of nowhere. and even Silvio called her a cunt. Yeah. Like it was rough. It was really rough because honestly, everyone in this show is a piece of shit. Yeah. Adriana, she's had her bad moments, but for the most part, she's just been like an innocent deer, just like caught in the headlights. Yeah, I mean, you can't really call anybody involved in this like totally innocent. No, right. And the whole reason that she got into this is literally for covering up a murder. That's the crazy thing that I love about Sopranos is that you're anticipating something to blow up some way yeah. related to Tony or Adriana or Christopher or whatever. They bring a storyline out of nowhere, and that is the downfall of Adriana. It literally freaking her taking out the trash on a hidden FBI camera. Even dumber than that, like 
someone that she knows needing to use her fax machine. And like legitimately needing to use the fax machine. Yeah, like I thought that was going somewhere else. Like they were going to go in the back and like do like a deal or something bad or whatever. Yeah. He literally just needed to use a fax machine. And that is what gets Adriana killed. Yeah. It, it is insane. I mean, Sopranos is, is a master at just throwing something you did not expect at you. Yeah. And, and it really does make the most seemingly unimportant things mean literally everything. Yeah. A simple conversation. Yeah, you can use my fax machine. It's in the back. Boom. Gone. One of our main characters gone. One of our other main characters probably destroyed forever. I mean, Christopher has always been a fuck up, a piece of shit. Now he has no one that can kind of like rein him back a little bit or like no one to slightly be wholesome for. Like there's no reason for Christopher to do anything positive for the rest of the show. I don't know. I think that Christopher says that he loved Adriana. I don't actually ever think that he did. No, he for sure never truly loved her. No, I think he liked the idea of her. Obviously she's beautiful. She kind of did whatever he wanted yeah. uh, for the most part. I mean, she was she was relatively passive while still kind of having her own career, but that career gave them a place where they could do their business still. Like everything that she did Christopher got something out of it. Yeah, no, I mean, that's a great point. I mean, she is beautiful and submissive and that is what Christopher liked. Uh, yeah, and I mean, he, like you said in this one, I mean, he just like beat the shit out of her on so many occasions. This last time, I honestly thought that he had killed her. Yeah, I mean, that was like, the life was going out of her eyes. Yeah, I didn't think that, like when she took that breath, I was like, oh shit, like she's still alive. And honestly, like, it would have just been better if he had just killed her there. Yeah. Like, just fucking do it yourself at this point. Oh, I'm so annoyed by it, I think, because we did not like Christopher in the beginning. And we got a good amount of comments that were like, oh, you guys are too hard on Christopher and blah, blah, blah. Honestly, he did grow on us. I feel like a little bit, at there, least. There's definitely moments. And it's, it's obviously like... Not, I would say forced, but like we try very hard to find the good in like anyone. So it's like Christopher could do the slightest thing correct. And it's like, yeah, great job, Christopher. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, everyone's a piece of shit. Everyone's yeah. a criminal. Everyone's uh, addicted to something or abusive. Uh, they're all horrendous people. Out of everyone, Adriana might have been the least horrendous person. And she did not have a pleasant death. I mean, essentially last moments are getting physically abused by her so-called fiance. And then she has this traumatic ride that she clearly knows. Uh, I don't know clearly, but she was- Maybe she didn't know. Honestly, by when Silvio got out of the car, I feel like was the moment that she like realized. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like maybe she had it in the back of her mind because of that dream. I think she knows, maybe not that she was about to get killed, but that she was fucked because if Christopher was in prison or I mean in the hospital, they wouldn't have made the appointment with the FBI. Like they would have lost the deal or she would have been forced to wear a wire. Like she was probably still thinking like, this is going to ruin everything. Yeah, the only other thing I could think of is if that dream-ish sequence or whatever was more about her wishing that she had just left. If she did think Christopher actually did try, that she's wishing she had just left and not told him anything. Oh, that Christopher never would have tried to take his own life. Right. That's a, that's a good way to look at it too. Yeah, so I mean, this show, I feel like, I know we get so many comments that are like, oh, you misunderstood this, or like, this is definitely what happened. But I honestly think there's so many things that are kind of left up to interpretation. And I think that dream sequence may have been one of them. But damn, that was really hard, especially watching her struggle um, for what feels like seasons. Um, I mean, she said it's been a year of her getting basically stuck with the FBI. Yeah, it does feel like seasons of her just being depressed and her body is getting destroyed because of all the stress. And she's like obviously in a terrible situation. And she really did give them next to nothing. But Pussy did the same. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure pussy gave them nothing either. Yeah. It, it really doesn't matter. And like, we were also thinking of like, oh, maybe call Tony. Like he might have a soft spot. Tony was immediately on that phone, did obviously a test to trick her and stuff and to get her set up to get picked up by Silvio. So it's not like he shed a tear. I mean, no. he, he beat up Christopher at the end because he's like, I'm in pain too. But when it comes to someone being a rat, they'll just kill you. I mean, all of these people were like lifelong friends or lovers, fiancés, whatever it is. It's like, oh, rat, done, that's it. No further hesitation or question, you're gone. So it felt icky. Like I, I feel gross after these two episodes. Man, I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, because you know. that's not like the only negative thing that happened. I mean, that was huge for us, especially. I mean, Adriana has been a staple for us on the show literally since the beginning. Yeah, she was the very first episode, and I remember I think even seeing comments that people were like, because I was like, oh, I think she looks familiar, or something like that, and they were like, oh, she's gonna be really important. Um, and then you just watch her character just grow. Yeah, grow, but honestly, never really be happy. No, I mean, grow as in, like, her role. Her, her role in the show, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, no, she was miserable 99% of the time. It was really hard to watch. Um, so anyways, obviously, that is literally a major part, but just part of the two episodes we just watched. Yeah, which is crazy, because that's a major character dying, and that pushed off to the side, because I guess the biggest thing is the fuck up with Tony B. Tony B just going rogue. He already went rogue, but going even more rogue and killing Phil Leotardo's son, I believe, or brother or something like that. Yeah. Family member for sure. God, he left an, a massive mess for Tony. I mean, I never liked Johnny Sack. I've never liked New York. I feel like they're insanely disrespectful of how they treat and talk down to New Jersey. I obviously know New York is way more powerful than New Jersey. But once they finally sat down at that table and Phil Leotardo was like straight to Tony that, you know, I'm going to get the opportunity to kill a fan, one of your family members so that they die in your arms. And then Johnny Sack was like, he has every right to be here and say that. And if you don't give me your cousin, I'm going to kill one of your family members. I'm like, what the fuck are you like for me? Yeah. Tony B should be handed over on a silver platter and killed. Sure. No question. But like they were going hard at threatening Tony's personal family, which I don't know I've seen anyone do in the entire Sopranos so far. Yeah, I think obviously with Phil, there was a lot of emotion into it, which I think at that point, it was not a good idea to have him on that at that table. But Johnny Sack has been super pissed at Tony basically since the whole Carmine situation. Yeah, since he wouldn't kill Carmine. Yeah, so there's been a lot of like animosity in their very loosely gonna say friendship. <laughs> yeah. Obviously it's business, but I guess I was just kind of expecting, especially as the new boss, I was anticipating Johnny Sack playing this a little better. I thought he would be a little bit more like political. Like, exactly. Like, I thought that he was gonna be like, you know, let Phil be as pissed as he wants. And if you wanted Phil to get to be the one to kill Tony B, that is 100% on you. Yeah. But I feel like his like power trip was kind of trying to get Tony to like understand like you're down here. I'm all the way up here now. Like saying like it's not dignified yep. for them to meet that way and everything. It was way further than I thought he was gonna go. Not to say that Tony doesn't deserve a good amount of shit. <laughs> yeah. I honestly was, I was kind of surprised by it. I mean, they have a business relationship. Just the type of threats that were coming out of Johnny Sack's mouth, that seemed excessive for the situation. Yeah. Obviously there was a resolution that still included murder. That probably would have made everyone happy. But is there? Tony was willing to give up the location if they would have Tony would have killed him himself and then no. So he compromised. Okay. Can you at least kill him quickly? No. Okay. Like, no, but now there's not a resolution. No. Right? He's not giving him Tony. No, 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 Yeah, there's nothing now. Yeah. I'm just saying I totally expected Johnny Sack to make a resolution that still included murder, that still maybe included Phil Leotardo being the one to be able to kill Tony B. But he just was on this insane power trip the second he got full power. And I'm also fuck little Carmine. Like, little Carmine was the one who set all this in motion yeah. to try to get Tony B to retaliate for him. And then little Carmine's just gonna go 
behind Tony's back and strike a deal with Johnny Sack. So now Tony's just on the outs. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it had anything to do with Tony. No, it's just, that's that's bullshit. Like, yeah. you, you started a war, you took one of Tony's guys to fight in that war, and now that shit hit the fan, you go to the enemy and make peace, but you just leave Tony out to dry? No, I mean, I agree with you, <laughs> but I think that was his, like, I'm gonna wave my white flag and be out of this. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. It's just now Tony's fucked. I mean, the yeah. way that this ended, Tony just almost passing out again, sitting down saying, oh, I'm fine, everything's fine, when literally his whole world is imploding. The only good thing is that him and Carmella got back together, which what? Which is insane <laughs> on itself. The fact that it, all it took was a $600,000 piece of land, which is just like, there you go, Carmella, you just love the money. I mean, all, to, all she's been asking Tony for is money. That's true. All this time. So it's like, if you really want to get back together with her, Probably could have done this a little while ago. <laughs> Probably. I don't know how this is going to go. I mean, I'm so excited for the last episode of this season. I don't see how Tony doesn't just fucking, all right, we're killing everybody. Let's wipe the slate clean. Like, I'm taking out Johnny Sack. I'm taking out Little Carmine. I'm taking out Phil Leotardo. I'm just taking everyone out as many as I can before I, I get taken out. Yeah, I don't. I feel like he's not that reckless. He doesn't have Little Carmine anymore. He obviously just spit in... Johnny Sack's face, essentially. Yeah. Who now has full power of New York. Like, what the fuck does Tony do? This show, killing off Adriana, tells me that literally there are no fucks given at this point anymore. So you could be onto something. They, he could absolutely just start going to town. I'm dropping bodies quick. I'm dropping as many bodies as quickly as I possibly can. I mean, that he would have to do that though, because obviously everyone gets wind of it like immediately after things like this happen. I'm, I, I mean, there was a Godfather refer reference, I believe. Pull a Godfather, take everyone out at the same time. It would have to be at the same time. They, literally, there's no other way. Yeah. And then Tony would be dead afterwards. Yes. There's but no may, way. But maybe your family would be safe. Because they still threatened his family. Like, that for me is like, they took it one step way too far. For me, I, I just, the whole family situation was like, Mafia you were definitely, family. yeah, you were definitely reading into it as like, Meadow AJ Carmella. I was reading it more into as Tony B is his family, Christopher is his family. Like, that's still his family that are working in it. I see what you're saying. It could be like the royal family, if that's, if that's a way to, like the family of the mafia or mobsters. It's not necessarily his immediate family members. Yeah, not like innocent, not innocent, but not like actually in the business. I, I took it as his immediate family because it was Phil's immediate family, I believe. Right, that but- That died in his arms. So, so I, I can see it both ways, yeah. but, but still, this is a fucked up situation. Oh, for sure. I don't know if Tony's ever been in a worse situation than he currently is right now. No, yeah. No, I agree. And the fact that Tony, like, looked him dead in the face, like... Fuck you. Yeah, that... Like, we thought there was a war before. Yeah. No, just start taking people out. That's the only solution. <laughs> so, then, obviously, we have Tony and Carmella go back together. Yeah. Weird. That whole fire in the kitchen sequence... With the horse lady, I don't remember what her horse lady <laughs> set herself on fire because she sucks at cooking. He clearly was unhappy already, but the <laughs> fact that he then had to dump her afterwards, like the whole thing is just a freaking disaster. I like how he was like, oh, why does stuff like this always happen to me? Like, as always someone, plays a victim. Yeah, someone was set on fire. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how that's going to resolve. I mean, she also threatened to take her own life. That has happened before to one of Tony's mistresses. Who came back. Who did, yeah, was, dream. yeah, you're right, was in, in this dream sequence. I mean, that was such a wild dream sequence. I think that was the longest and craziest one that we've had so far. I'm sure there's probably like breakdowns of what everything kind of means or references. But for me, that was just like pure nonsense up until the point where you kind of start seeing that it's like Tony trying to like build himself up to either kill or let Tony B go. Yeah, I think the whole point of it was we got there. I have enjoyed the dream sequences on the show, um, especially the one uh, where they were on the pier with the fish. Yeah. Um, when essentially he is like, oh shit, like pussy is a- A rat. Right. Yeah. Even though he was a fish. <laughs> but I can't 
really say honestly that I was like such a fan of this one. There were so many people in it and I was honestly getting a little bit lost. I feel like I definitely missed some of like the connections and like the nuances of what exactly was happening. Right. And maybe if I had like a better memory of like exactly who all these people were and what transpired, like why was Artie in that dream? Like, but we're dealing with a bunch of dead people, but then why did Finn's parents look familiar? And then one of them was a famous actress and they even referenced the fact that she is the famous actress. Right. So, and was... like, I swear that the dad is like either, yeah, the, the congressman guy. He could be, or it's just another, he's obviously very famous in other right. stuff that I think we've seen. Yeah, but I swear he was in this show already I, and that part wasn't acknowledged. So I don't know. I honestly, I think I didn't like it as much because I was lost. I think it was, like I said, the longest and like wackiest, most confusing dream sequence we've had. Uh, Cause it was quick. It was jumping around constantly to like different things, different characters, different situations. It seemed like nothing really had any sort of connection that you take like long breaks or not breaks, but sections like the whole conversation with his old coach mm -hmm. and stuff. And then like the fact that he ties that in with Carmela and like, that's obviously a reoccurring dream, like to the point where she was like, oh, were you unprepared again and stuff? Like, yeah, it was weird and wacky. So I think in the moment it was hard to probably appreciate. And that's why I'm saying like, it would probably be awesome to see some sort of like breakdown or analysis yeah of that dream sequence. Mm -hmm. Cause after the fact, or maybe watching it again, that's when you could be like, oh shit, that's a great like call out. That's a great reference. Yeah. That ties in perfectly with this situation. Cause when you go through it the first time, it's honestly just like- What just happened? Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, you're gonna go through it again in the edit. Yeah, so maybe- I'm sure you're gonna pick up more. And the lovers of the show, you guys will definitely be giving us links to breakdowns yeah. and love seeing those or yeah explaining it yourself or whatever yeah. to us please do yeah because that episode 11 was it was rough episode 11 was rough on the mind and episode 12 was rough on like the soul <laughs> or something yeah literally no idea it's not even worth trying to figure out where it's going next because episode 13 it could be about like aj's uh you know, going to colleges and checking them out. <laughs> and that's that's just it, like, it really could. It could be anything. And that's what I love about Sopranos. Uh, so I'm so excited to see how this season ends. And I'm super happy that there's one more season because I think there's still so much stuff that could be explored. Uh, so this was great. Yeah, I mean, one more super season. Yeah, double season. So looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.